What's up, guys? We're here in Kashmir. We are here in Kashmir. So, follow me. So, we're gonna show you around the house. I wanna show you what the village looks like. So, yeah, but this is the house. Uh, I'm gonna go on the roof real quick and show you a view. <clears throat> So we walk up these stairs. We gotta be careful though. There's no barrier. You don't want to fall off here. That'll be bad. Be careful, man. So look at the mountains, trees. Just, just totally, totally peaceful. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Hold on. Let me go over here. So let me show you guys something really crazy over here. So on this side, right here. On this side. Yeah. Okay, one second. On this side you have India. So we are literally we are literally on the border of Kashmir. So on this side you have India and on this side you have Pakistan. And it's crazy how how close we are to the border and we're literally in the middle. Like as you can see. This side India, this side Pakistan. And this is the territory that people say is very controversial. I'm going to walk around the village and take a quick walk and show you guys and then I'm um, show you what the breakfast making is like here. So here we are guys. I just got outside the gate. This is the gate of the house. And look at this. I've never seen anything like this in Pakistan before. I've been here, but never been to this part. Assalamu alaikum. Kya hale? Tik tak. Alright. So as I mentioned before, this right here is India. And this right here is Pakistan. And we are little in the middle. And it's uh it's amazing to see. You know, when I was young, I never thought you could just be in the middle of Kashmir and have peace. They've always made Kashmir seem like a it you know, there is a point of controversy here. It is a location where, you know, a lot of people bicker over. You know, India and Pakistan have been fighting over this land for the longest time, and the people of Kashmir just want to be Kashmir. So it is definitely a land of controversy, but at the same time, when you go, oh, what's up, doggy? Look at this dog. He's pissed. Look at him. All right. He looks like he would tear my head off if he had the chance. Um, oh, gosh, he's back. All right. Sorry, dog. Assalamualaikum. Yale. Tik tock. Look guys, there's some donk goats and donkeys back there as well. So, like as I was saying before, the dog rudely interrupted me. This is a land of controversy, but at the same time, it's also a place where you find peace and good people. That's what I've been experiencing so far since I've been here in, in Kashmir, or in Azad Kashmir, I should say. Just gonna take a walk, see what it has to offer, and then we're gonna go eat breakfast. But look at all these big farmlands here, grass everywhere, mountains in the background, small houses, some really big houses too, and just clean air. Something you don't really experience in Pakistan too much is clean air. Um, you know, in the cities that we live in, the air is polluted and dirty and there's dust everywhere. But here, the air is super clean, super nice. And um, it's just really, it's really beautiful, guys. I just want to demystify the stereotypes of Kashmir and show you. Now, <clears throat> I will say one thing, you know, because this is Pakistan and that mountain is India, on the top you will see at the night there's lights and you will see there was a time when there was firing going on from one side to the other and that was basically, you know, the Indian forces and the Pakistani forces fighting each other. But now there's a ceasefire, so it's not happening as much. So it does still happen. There is still controversy here. But um, right now, look how peaceful it is. I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm walking to someone's house. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. And this is one of those places where like everyone knows each other. So it's kind of like, you know, just like, you could just walk anywhere and nobody's gonna hurt you or say anything to you because in the village everyone knows each other from what I hear so let's see look there's chickens here hello chicken 
Hello, chicken. All right, where to go? All right, guys, now I'm walking through some dirt path. So over here, there's literally nothing. It's literally just, a, we're, like I said, we're in the middle of a village and there's nothing here, so. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Tik tak. Huh? 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 Look at this guy's beautiful house here in Kashmir. Assalamu alaikum. What's up? I'm video. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. What's up? What's up? What's <laughs> मैं आता हूं मैं तो ऐसे यहां पे फिर रहा हूं ना फिर मैं वापस आता हूं सो एज यू कैन सी पीपल आर रियली इनवाइटिंग दोस पीपल जस्ट वेलकम मी इनटू देयर होम आई वाज लाइक आई एम गुड आई एम जस्ट गोना टेक अ वॉक अराउंड बट वी गोना वॉक थ्रू दिस विलेज अ लिटिल बिट एंड देन वी विल गेट सम ब्रेकफास्ट एट माय फैमिलीज हाउस अस्सलाम वालेकुम क्या हाल है ठीक ठाक अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आप यहां से हैं जी जी अच्छा मैं यहां के वीडियो बना रहा हूं एक जी जी हां तो आप आप ये क्या नाम है यहां पे बंगला है ना नहीं ये गांव है इसका नाम मेत का गुड़ा है मेत का गुड़ा अच्छा 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 और आप यहां से हैं मैं यहां से हूं आप कितने साल के लिए यहां पे ना काफी अरसा से हम यहां हैं हमारे बाबू जदाद यहां के रहने वाले हैं अच्छा अच्छा हम गुजरात बिरादरी से तलक रखते हैं तो आप यहां पैदाइश यहां पे थी जी जी अच्छा 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 ठीक है और आप क्या सोचते हो यहां के बारे में ये इलाका बहुत खूबसूरत है बहुत खूबसूरत है आपने देख लिया हां मैंने खुद ही देख लिया दोनों तरफ पहाड़ियां हैं उस तरफ इंडिया है अच्छा मैंने हां दैट्स इंडिया इधर इंडिया है और इस तरफ ये अपनी है हां तो درمیان में आबादी है हां आबादी लेकिन सिर्फ एक मसला होता है जब फायरिंग होती है ना हां तो उससे लोग काफी मुतासर होते हैं अच्छा अच्छा जब वो फायर होती है फायर होती है दुश्मन की गोलाबारी होती है तो अगर फायरिंग ना हो तो इस जैसा इलाका मेरे ख्याल कहीं भी नहीं हो कहीं नहीं मैं अपने इलाके की तो हर बात भी तारीफ करता है लेकिन है कि आपने खुद देख लिया कि यहां के रस्म और रिवाज यहां के लोग और यहां के मतलब आबो वाह बहुत अच्छी है और आप आप चाहते हो जो कश्मीर अपना मुल्क बने कि कोई नहीं पाकिस्तान से इंडिया से आप अब कश्मीर के लोग क्या सोचते हैं इसलिए कि जो हम बाहर हैं ना वो बताते हैं जो कश्मीर के लोग कहते हैं नहीं हमने अपना मुल्क बनना है नहीं नहीं देखें कि सबसे पहले तो पाकिस्तान है अच्छा जब इंडिया और गठे थे तो सबसे पहले पाकिस्तान बना था अच्छा यही बात है सही बात समझे पाकिस्तान इस्लाम के नाम पे मुल्क खड़ा है बिल्कुल समझे हम कहते हैं कश्मीर अलादा हो लेकिन कश्मीर आजाद हो लेकिन ये पाकिस्तान के साथ अलग हो बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही सबसे पहले पाकिस्तान उसके बाद हम अच्छा अच्छा तो सो एज यू can hear the guy say he says that he believes that Pakistan Kashmir is a part of Pakistan and it shouldn't it, the first thing is that it is Pakistan then after that yes it's Kashmir it's its own place but that's what i wanted to hear from somebody who's actually from here thank you ji thank you so much kahan ko chai pani pilaye aapko nahi thank you bhai wo bhi chai pani pila rahe hain wahan pe to aap kahan ke rehne wale hain main us mein hu so so far what i'm experiencing guys is the people are so kind here and so nice and the man i was just asking him how long he's been here and he was born here his family is from here and he was just telling me that like it's so peaceful here yes sometimes there is firing as i told you from mountain to mountain between india and pakistan but usually it's all peace it's all love and he said that he he doesn't believe like you know how they tell us that kashmir a lot of times wants to be their own country but he believes that kashmir is a part of pakistan and it should be why not there's more resources that come from being part of pakistan now i'm sure everybody wouldn't agree with that there's differing opinions but he himself does believe that mr muhammad over there good man when well, we're walking up this rocky hill it's a bit dangerous but we're going to see what else this place has to offer let's see looks like there's some things going on over here and then oh look at this there's shops nice Oh, there's a goat. Meh. Meh. 
Assalamualaikum. Kya hal hai? Theek tha. Assalamualaikum. 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 Kya hal hai bhai? Ye aapki shop hai yahan pe. Acha. To yahan ka naam is gaon ka naam kya hai? Mat ka gora. Mat ka gora. Aur aap kya sochte ho is gaon ka? Acha sochte hain. Acha sochte hain. You are from here. Aap yahan se hi hain. Acha acha acha. तो ये कितनी शॉप है यहाँ पे बस एक शॉप है ना आपकी बस एक शॉप है यहाँ पे अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है और भाई आपका नाम क्या है मुख्तार अहमद हाँ मुख्तार अहमद मुख्तार अहमद मेरा नाम माहिर है हाँ मैं यहाँ पे वीडियो बना रहा हूँ इस गांव के बारे में दिखाना है क्या है कितना सुकून है इसलिए क्यों लोग बाहर समझते हैं कश्मीर पता नहीं क्या ख़तरनाक जगह है ना तो मैंने लोग को दिखाना है जो कितना सुकून मिलता है यहाँ पर हाँ और लोग इतने अच्छे हैं यहाँ पर इतने वेलकमिंग है तो मैंने यही दिखाना है और बैठो ठंडा होएगा ठंडा पिएगा ठंडा पिएगा कौन सा कोई भी बोतल पिएगा जूस ठीक है मैं एक जूस ले लेता हूँ थैंक यू भाई कौन सा लगा आपका मैं मैं अमेरिका से हूँ लेकिन मेरी फैमिली यहाँ से ही है पाकिस्तान से ही है औरिजिनली मैं मेरी फैमिली आज़ाद कश्मीर से ही है मुजफ्फरबाद के हाँ हाँ लेकिन अब मेरी फैमिली पता है वाक एंड रावपिंडी के एरिया में रहते हैं वो भी आपके साथ हैं वो हाँ हम यहाँ ही हैं उनके साथ थैंक यू जी नहीं मैं लेता हूँ आपके लिए मुश्किल नहीं है मुश्किल ओह लुक इज़ हियर गाइस लुक इज़ हियर लुक हु मेड इट यू गाइस नो दिस गाइस फाइनली स्� Got ourselves a Mirinda. Very fresh, first class. So, यहाँ पे कभी होता है जो क्या कहते हैं conflict होता है India और Pakistan के कभी होता है यहाँ पे? हाँ होता है. अच्छा अच्छा. तो आप लोग क्या समझते हो India का? India का तो India ने तो ये हमारे साथ थोड़ा जन्म करती है. ये तो अभी तीन चार साल हो गए हैं तो बीस पाए रहे. अच्छा अच्छा. हाँ तो ये तो spoon है. So basically what he's saying is right now there's a ceasefire. मेरे बच्चे जख्मी हुए थे मेरी वाइफ और मेरा बेटा अच्छा अच्छा हाँ ये अभी वो उसकी उम्र ठार ठार साल है उसकी टांग कटेगी ये गोला शैल लगने से वहाँ से ये मेरा गांव है ये साथ अच्छा 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 सारी बात और उसका जो है ना वो अभी अपने वालदा उसकी बहुत सीरियस जख्मी हो गई थी अच्छा चीन में ने वो खारियां हॉस्पिटल में रहे अच्छा तो इतना जो है ना हम जो है ना परेशान थे अभी तो दो तीन साल हो गए पीस फायर हो गया so this guy is actually telling me that his family actually got hurt. Uh, I think one of his kids like lost a leg, right? Why they are my boss? I they either interview the neck and give news channel. I think video पूरी एक जो है ना वो फाइल बना कर वो दे कर गए थे कि हम जो है वो वहाँ की एंट्री है वहाँ आप ये जो है ना वो हम देंगे उधर वो आप ये हेल्प के लिए जो है ना वो कुछ करेंगे अच्छा अच्छा लेकिन अब इधर कुछ कोई नहीं कुछ नहीं किया कुछ नहीं किया अच्छा एनजीओ दूसरा यहाँ पर ये होता है ना कि इंडिया वाले जो है ना सीज़ फायर हो ना लेकिन स्टेल वो मारते रहते हैं जब उनका दिल करता है अच्छा 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 मतलब वो खराब वर्जी करते हैं हमारी तरफ से नहीं होता उनकी तरफ से होता है अच्छा अच्छा सो बेसिक it is a ceasefire, but at any time things can happen. You don't know when something might happen, when, when they might fire. And actually this man's family was actually hurt from the mortars that were fired from that side. So he's a, somebody who has actually personally dealt with this. So it's very upsetting to hear that people are still dealing with this here in uh, Kashmir. As I was just saying, right now it's peaceful, but at any time things can go uh, wrong. So hopefully, inshallah, things will get better as time goes on. But that's what people pray for here, right? So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> See the thing here in Pakistan is they don't let you pay for anything when you're a guest. They don't take money. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much.
so guys you know it's upsetting man when you see stories like that you know trying to keep a positive mood um, but when we see something like that you know the guy his own son actually got hurt from a mortar and you know so and I asked him how do you feel about India and even still after all of this he didn't say that I hate India, right? Yeah. It's the name, Bola. Yeah. Nay. Yeah. So imagine his son actually lost a leg because of a firing of India, but he never said I hate India. He just wants peace. That's all they want here. They don't. They don't actually hate each other. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. Yes. There's. There's definitely um, controversy. There is some. I guess you can call it. You know, dislike towards each other, and a lot of it has to do with politics and the political. Yes. Uh, people atmosphere. don't uh, people don't hate each other people don't hate each other so but the governments make laws like this kind of laws that they can fire anytime that's it so that's why and then people actually deal with it personally in their own families yeah. and then that's why people end up actually not having a strong liking for each other because they think that it's coming from people but civilians it has nothing to do with it you know yeah so it's just upsetting look at this guys assalamu alaikum Look guys, he has his own goats. Assalamu alaikum goat. Oh look at this cow. Assalamu alaikum cow. Oh, hoi hoi. Dirge. Assalamu alaikum boy. Kya hal hai aapka? Tik tak. Ek second, main ye yahan pe rakhta hu. Assalamu alaikum. Kya naam hai aapka? Numan. Numan. Acha. Thank you ji. Hum jaate hain yahan se. Look guys, there's goat poop everywhere. Gotta be careful. Some cows. Bye cow. Bye cow. Oh, oh, oh gosh. The cow got angry. Bye goat. <laughs> Look at the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. The goat is so innocent, huh? Huh? The goat is so innocent. So innocent. Where is their house? Yeah, this one? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. All the all right guys look at this beautiful scenery now i'm going to show you what a typical breakfast looks like here guys over here there's a kitchen the outdoor kitchen they got some vegetables here and things like that this is the house that we're eating at beautiful house some cups and things this is one of the chefs chef Kainat. and these are the chefs assalamualaikum sorry i a video Assalamualaikum. This is the bride to be, but she's still working. Look at this eggs and more eggs, huh? <laughs> and paratha. Ye paratha ban raha hai yahan pe na. Assalamualaikum. Acha acha. Ye ban gaye. Acha acha. These are finished paratha, guys. Kashmir style, you know. And then she's making. She actually rolls them out over here. So, sorry guys to disturb you. So. We're just waiting on breakfast and we're gonna eat. But this is how people live here. This is the lifestyle here. Um, simple, but beautiful. It's really nice. So we're sitting out here. Everybody's sitting here. Assalamu alaikum. This is, you already know this guy. He's a, he's a star guest in my vlog at this point. He is part of the vlog at this point. Mr. Rehan Bhai. This is his beautiful wife. Miss Maida, Dr. Maida actually. Most one. Yeah. And this, you already know, this is my aunt, my pupu. And we're just waiting for some food. And. What? This huh. is also a kitchen. This is also a kitchen. Oh, wow. Open kitchen. Look at this. You can cook with some wood. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Got some chicken and paratha. Fresh chicken. This is organic chicken. This is as organic as it gets. And some real paratha. Some Kashmir style paratha. Is it different? No, it's the same, right? This is my Kashmir home cooked meal taste test. We got our paratha here. Look how amazing this is. And then 
some eggs. Simple breakfast, but my favorite. Mm, I want to hold it. So you take a, a nivala, or otherwise known as a bite in English, like this. And you just... Mm. Well, one thing about here is all the ingredients. My camera people are shifting, so sorry for the back and forth. But one thing about here, all the ingredients are fresh, organic. The eggs are organic. The chicken is organic. So back home, they tell you organic. That's not real. This is the real stuff. You'll actually see the chickens roaming around here. So it's amazing. So guys, in Pakistan, there is no breakfast without chai. This is not something I usually do. I'm usually a coffee person. But when in Rome, you do as the Romans. So when in Pakistan, you do as the Pakistanis. And we're, eat, we're drinking some milk tea. But the breakfast was amazing. What did you guys think? Yeah, it's amazing. Full? Full? Yeah. Satisfied? Yeah. yeah. All right. Very good. Popo, what, what did you think? Very nice. Very nice. All right. So everybody's satisfied, guys. And um, we're going to finish our tea and then I'll show you a little bit more around this village and then, yeah, check in with you. So guys, these are Manam's friends. Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to make you. What's your name? Kusnena. Huh? Kusnena. Kusnena? What's your name? Manu. Manu? Aisha. What's your name? Aisha. What's your name? Aisha. And where are you from? Kusnena. No, I'm saying, where are you from? Here? Yes. That's very nice. Or, Manam, these are your friends? Yeah. Oh, very nice. So these girls are local girls. They came by the house and these are Manam's friends. So they're playing together. Okay, very good. Have fun. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> so cute. They're walking back to the house. Me and Rehan are about to go find a barber. Yeah. So he can get a shave because look at him. So dirty. And as we walk through the fields, you see the wheat, you see the orchids, you see the mountains, it's just beautiful guys. This kind of feeling, you won't get this feeling anywhere else in Pakistan. One thing about this area is if you have a chance to visit it, you should definitely visit. What is it? Kila. Castle. Oh, it's a castle. Where? Where? Show me. Where is the castle? That. I don't see it. All the way at the top? Yeah. All, no, no, no. The middle. Okay. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, there's a castle on the hill, guys. That's amazing. Whose castle is it? Yeah, yeah, मतलब पुराना है। अच्छा, कोई रहता है अंदर? नहीं नहीं, अब यहाँ पे आर्मी के पास है। अच्छा अच्छा। Everything has the army. Guys, this is my friend. His name is Donkey. He's the Donkey from Shrek. Let's see if he gets mad if I come close. Hello, Donkey. How are you? Good? He's just busy eating. Hello, Donkey boy. Uh, he was the one making noises. You kept us all awake, donkey. Enjoy your food. <laughs> Guys, this tree is like hundreds of years old and it's a mango tree. And in this area, you have a lot of different kinds of trees that grow fruits. Like there's like a, another mango tree, there's apple trees. One thing about this area is a lot of fruit grows here wildly. And people that actually own their houses, they have trees with fruits on them. Right now is not the season for mango, but usually this tree would be full with mango. So now we're taking a walk through the village to find a barber shop. One really nice thing about here is when you walk through, you see all of the houses have like a different colors. You know, you see pink, yellow, green, blue. It just gives uh, the whole village a very nice look. Very aesthetically pleasing with the mountains in the background. It just uh, really makes you feel like you're in proper Pakistan, you know? The Pakistan that you imagine, that I've imagined, but I've never been to. 
But here I am in Kashmir. Who would have thought? 18 years later, I haven't been to Pakistan in 18 years, and I'm in Kashmir. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, another shop. Very nice. There's not too many shops here, but. Assalamu alaikum. Gale. TikTok. Can you say it? I'm not saying it. TikTok. Yeah. Your shop is here. Yeah. Okay. What are you selling here? You have some cookies. Do you have any snacks? No. No. Okay. Let's take them here. See, this my my man has a small shop. Mostly here is a shop. Okay. 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 क्या हो रहा है ठीक है अस्सलाम वालेकुम और तेरी क्या भेजी था देश का ठीक है ये मेरा कजन है अस्सलाम वालेकुम 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 अस्सलाम वाले� this is a pump. Where is the water from? Where is the water from? From the ground. From the ground. From the ground. This is a very old style. Yes. So, pump, 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 and you just press it and the water comes fresh water and over here there's a bunch of shops this is like their mini bazaar in the village they have shops Asalaamu Alaikum I think this is the barber shop yeah Asalaamu Alaikum buddy yeah Allah Tik Tok I think my cousin's gonna get a haircut but look at this this is like their little village shops you know you can buy some stuff Buy a little cricket bat if you want. <laughs> some clothes. Just some shoes. This is a shop, right? Yes. They have like kapre. Achcha, achcha. Yeah, in shop. Achcha, achcha. Very nice. So guys, because there is a conflict still here, even though it's a ceasefire right now, they have these underground rooms where if there is any firing ever, they can go inside here and be safe from any bullets, straight bullets and bombs that drop. It's like a shelter. Yeah. Amazing. So, they still have to be careful and protect themselves just in case. So, have you ever used it? It's a lot of time, right? It's a lot of time. Okay, okay. So, then you go inside. Okay, okay, okay. So, the man saying that they had to use it a few times when there was some firing coming from the mountains, from India and Pakistan side, when there's a little bit of conflict going on. But... Rehan Bhai is getting a haircut from a local barber here. Are you getting a haircut or just a... No, no, just a trim. Just a trim. Oh, Bhai, how many years have you been here for your hair? I've been here for 4 or 3 years. I've been here for 22 years. How much is that? 22 years he's been cutting hair, guys. This is what he does. He's a professional. And look, he uses a scissor. He doesn't use a machine, right? He uses a machine, but he doesn't use a machine. He doesn't use a machine, but he doesn't use a machine. He doesn't use a machine, but he doesn't use a machine. Look at that. Cleaning them up. Nice. हमारे यहाँ पे जो लोग कैंची ज़्यादा इस्तेमाल करते हैं हमारे उनको प्रोफेशनल कहते हैं हाँ बिल्कुल कैंची तो इस्तेमाल करने यू नीड टू हैव स्किल्स है ना या नॉट एनीबॉडी कैन नहीं असल में आज चाय पानी बहुत पिया है अभी हम इसलिए वॉक करते हैं इसलिए वॉक आपको लोगों को हेल्प करने चाहिए when in the gong, let's do it. So I'm getting my beard fixed and trimmed as well from Bhai Sahib. What's your name? Tarek Mahmood. Tarek, Tarek, Tarek Sahib. Who's been doing this for 22 years, in and out of this city. Right now, this is his barber shop, but before he used to work in another city. So he did a good job on Rehan, but look at that guys, getting the beard done, almost done here. Looking like a new man, fresh. He did it mostly with scissors and a blade on the bottom, but 
Looks good. Very good. Alrighty, guys. So, got my fresh cut. Well, I didn't get a haircut. I just got a beard trim. But there it is. That's a village cut right there in the middle of Kashmir. I never thought I'd be getting my beard trim in the middle of a village in Kashmir. Amazing. Also, guys, one thing I forgot to mention too is that the haircut that or the shave that we got, and he got together our shaves cost less than a dollar or like a dollar. Can you imagine going to a barber shop getting two shaves for like a dollar or less? I mean, <laughs> nowhere else are you gonna get that. And then we just bought like ten bags of chips from the shop. This cost us less than a dollar as well. And they're Lay's brand name. Yeah, only in Kashmir. <laughs> Only in the village will you get these prices. So, look at that. We got India on that side. We got Pakistan on this side. But we got peace right here. And that's what I want to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys that how beautiful this place is. How serene it is. The serenity you feel when you enter this place is just... It's unprecedented. I haven't felt anything like this in Pakistan especially. The orchids growing. The goats running around. The cows. The birds chirping. You can hear every single noise. And it is absolutely beautiful and yeah though there is some conflict here like i mentioned before i just wanted to show you the good sides of it as well because i don't think people cover that enough you've heard a lot of negativity about kashmir but you haven't heard too much positive things so i hope i reflected that in this video i hope you guys enjoyed a walk around the village of Manda. whatever it is <laughs> Men, men something something with the m but people in the past in the few past clips mentioned the name so um yeah this is it this is the beauty of this village and the beauty of kashmir more kashmir videos coming soon we're here for a wedding actually so i'm going to show you guys what a wedding here is like and yeah metka metka yes metka that's the name of the village just a final look at the beauty and the nature And remember guys, continue to learn, continue to grow. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I mean, look at me. I really did leave my comfort zone by coming here to a village in the middle of Kashmir. But I'm so happy that I did. Or else I would never have these kind of experiences. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.